What's up guys, it's Hollywood, welcome back. All right, a couple months ago, I showed you this rifle and I showed you a bunch of footage from a Wyoming prairie dog hunt that I went on. Now, in that footage, I actually got more questions about this tripod setup than probably anything else. People kept asking, how are you attaching it to the tripod? So first off, if you didn't get to see that video, I'm gonna put a card right up here on the screen where you can go watch it. But this is the Death Grip tripod from Bog Hunt, all right? I'm gonna put links in the description below if you wanna check it out. It is a fully articulating tripod, and it this particular setup here uses one of these Arca mounts, all right? Now, these are really hard to find lately, but it interfaces right up here. It's super quick, super easy to adapt into the tripod, tighten it down. And then if you wanna tighten down the articulation, there's a knob on this side and you've got a really, really solid setup. Now, during that hunt, we shot hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds, probably eight, 900 rounds, somewhere around there, over a three day hunt. And I would say probably 80% of them were off this tripod. Some of them were on a bipod off the back of a truck, but about 80% of those shots were off this setup that you see right here. All right, now I took the rifle off. Here you can see this ball mount underneath so that this can pivot and articulate all over that ball mount and it can swivel. And then on the top here is where you lock in that Arca mount. And it has these little knobs that go down in these holes right here so it won't slide back and forth. You simply clamp it down in there. There is a dot level on the top here. And another thing that you'll notice, let's see if the camera will actually pick up on this. If you look down in there, it's really dark in there. That one says 20. If I move it out one, that's 45. And it allows me to bring the leg out to a 45 degree angle. And if I take it out one more, that's 85. And it allows me to really splay that leg out really, really far. All right. So it gives you a couple different presets. Go back to 45 here. And now you see it's restricted at 45. And now I'll go to 20. And now it locks in right here. And they won't go out any further than that angle. All right. I shot it at this height right here with that 20 degree most of the time, with the exception of when I was seated. Good dog. Yeah. And it also comes with an adapter for the top with a quarter drive on it. So if you wanted to use this as a camera mount, you could. And when you're ready to pack it up, simply loosen the legs and use the strap to lock it all down secured. And there you go, lock it up and we'd throw this in the back of the truck and move on. So really, really compact setup. There's a couple different versions of this. So this is the carbon fiber version. There's some camo print versions. There's some non-carbon carbon fiber versions that are much cheaper. And then if you were switching rifles out or if you didn't have one of those Arca rails, this is where it gets its name from. So if you can't find the Arca rail, this is the death grip mount, all right? So you can see here, opens up and then clamps back down on the rifle. So lots of different options, super cool. There's gonna be a link in the description below to this, but before you go, let's check out one more thing. All right, this is the Bog Death Grip Chair. And you can see it has that same Death Grip module up on the front here to grip onto the, look at that, it wanted to show itself to you, to grip onto the rifle. And it has a fully articulating set of arms here that are attached to the seat. The seat is super easy to put together and I'll roll in a little bit of footage. And even on the bottom, there's a pouch right under here so that you can put the legs and stow them underneath the seat for transport. Now, the only watch out on this is you wanna make sure that you are sitting in it if this arm is ever out because it will pull the seat down. I actually made the mistake at SHOT Show. I sat in the chair, I played with the arm and I got up and walked away and their display fell over. So don't do that, don't be me. If I wanted to take this apart, loosen this guy here and you can pull that articulating arm out of there, fold the seat down. Underneath there is a little pin that you push in and then you can pull the legs out. Right here is a quick release throw lever. Simply undo that and that piece comes off. Now the bottom of the feet are a hard rubber, but this is a very sharp texture on the bottom here. So if you had this in the bottom of your blind or something like that, it's not gonna slide around and make noise. And then here you can see the pouch. Stow it underneath in the pouch and there you go. So that's it guys, that is their tripod, their seat system, the Bog Death Grip hunting seat. I'm gonna put links in the description below. Do me a favor guys, if you like this video, give it a like, make sure you're subscribed. Appreciate your time watching as always, lots more content to come and I'll see you in the next one.